Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 23 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And here's the huge game against Manchester City. Uh, they desperately need to win. I reckon the title's out of reach for them now. They're on 54 points. Uh, they're just trying to qualify uh, for the Champions League. And they do have a new manager now after sacking Pellegrini. Uh, they got Jurgen Klopp. Uh, from Borussia Dortmund, a very, very good manager. Um, you can see that from his abilities, um, of course. He's a quality manager, so you think, I reckon, yeah, he'll get them into Champions League next season, if not this season. Who knows? Maybe the final run. Who knows what Arsenal could drop Chelsea? You don't know what's going to happen, but yeah, I'm going to get the first taste. I'm going to get the first taste here, and it'll be very interesting playing away. And I am going to be re more responsible. Like most games, I'm going to play my attacking tactic. But playing away to Man City is one of the rare games where I will play on counter. That's what I like to do. Have my attacking and counter set up. It's uh, pretty good. And of course, after playing so well, basically every single player of mine is on superb morale. At least that's starting. Yeah, every player that's starting is on superb morale. I think this is the best team to start with anyway. There's no need to change it up too much. It looks, it looks sexy with that superb morale as well. Um, I just want to see here who's been actually amazing this season from their average ratings. You see, yeah, Phil Jones, 7.29, picked up four goals. Um, Quadrado is really stepping up now, a bit more scoring, assisting. Juan Mata, again, improving as the season goes on. Mata, or not Mata, sorry, uh, Di Maria, been insane. Uh, 7.42 rating. Van Persie being reliable. And, yeah, Wayne Rooney's hit some form as well. If you go to Rooney and you will go to form, um, the last game he scored two goals. Hopefully, he'll be able to continue that in a big occasion here. There's nothing like it. You know, Rooney, he's up for these kind of games, the big occasions. We are favorites. But it is Man City. They've got quality players, and there's a real chance we could lose it. If we don't play to our best, we could lose it. I've got to make sure my players are concentrating, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, obviously, Man City want to push for a Champions League position. So, we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to say... Ooh, Interesting. This is an interesting lineup they're um, going with up front. Scott Sinclair as the most advanced striker there. Obviously, Jekko probably playing a target man role, you would imagine. Uh, I remember Scott Sinclair. He scored against us last time. But don't forget, remember that game? We demolished Man City. But this is a way fixture. But who knows how it's going to pan out. Midfield still strong. you got Nasri, left midfielder. Probably not his best role. Yaya Toure, Milner. And yeah, Navas. It's... For Man City, I feel like Milner, he's not the best to be starting in this huge game. So I think we can get the better of him in midfield. And yeah, defense, it's expected. You've got Clichy, um, uh, Company, Di McAllis, and yeah, Zabaleta, and of course Joe Hart as a goalkeeper. They've got some talent on the bench. Look, Sanya, David Silva, uh, Yamalenko, Mangala, Nastastic, and that guy. <laughs> Uh, with the long name. So, what are we going to do here? Scott Sinclair, we will close him down. He's got that pace. Show on to weaker foot. Uh, who else? Yeah, Navas, close down. Show on to weaker foot. Yeah, because they don't have Silva. They don't have that dangerous, really, attacking midfielder, in my view. And they do in Nasri, but he's, yeah, left mid. But I don't think Nasri's that good. He's, he's a solid Premier League player, but he's not world class. He's a good player. Yeah, he's pretty good. Definitely a top player in the Premier League, but not the best out there. He's not like world class. So I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm not sure if he'd be effect out wide. So I'll leave it like that. And then we'll go in. We'll say assertively, who, what are we going to say here? Oh, yeah, well, we love to. Yeah, carry out like we finished last match. Yeah, go out there and carry straight on from where you finished last match. I want them to do that, but can they? We're going to find out. We're motivating some players here. Rafael, Cuadrado, and Mata. Come on, lads. And Van Persie nodded in agreements. So that was a pretty good team talk. I've had definitely worse. Uh, one of my better ones, so that's all right. But they've got a corner here. James Milner. Oh, good defending there by Phil Jones. Jekko. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, then it's Nasri. That always happens to me. I see like a certain player, he won't do something. And then he comes up and does it. Oh, <laughs> I hate how that happens. It's just, yeah, just one of those things. But we'll see how that goes. How did this happen? Nasri, we had yeah, we had players against him. Like, it was not like we were leaving him alone. So, yeah, not sure. Well, that's disappointing. We're going to have to go attack now. 
See, it doesn't matter if you play counter. The better the home team is have a good advantage in the game. So if the result stays the way it is, and Nasri, oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> we had two chances there. If we lose and Liverpool win, we'll drop to second. It's going to be so close. Come on, show something more before the half time. Assertive. Show some passion. This is supposed to be like a big derby game. But we aren't. We're not playing like that. Maybe if we can get a late goal in the first half, could be decent. Quadrado. Oh, what's that? No free kick? Oh, no, not red. Oh, Jones. He's treading on thin ice. And Sinclair just blasts that away. Oh, we're going to have to come in with a very, very big team talk here. Can I win it? We'll go aggressive. Where is your passion, lads? Do you even want to win this match? And there we go. Firing up every single player. They're either motivated or fired up. One of those reactions. So I've done my job there. It's all in the player's feet. I was going to say in the player's hands, but then obviously feet. That is the main thing. Come on. We need to see something. Toure, Sinclair. I'm scared about Jones getting a red card, if I'm honest. Navas. Oh, no. I'm surprised he had a shot from there. Uh, we'll go with the team talk. We'll go assertively. Um, push forward. Come on. We had a very good team talk at half time. It has to be surely something we're going to have to get. I don't know. <laughs> Mata. Oh, he can't pass. And it's Jekko. Oh, good defending. That was Rojo. And he's on a yellow as well. What happened? Game, what did you do? Why did you give them a goal out of nowhere? How come I didn't see that? That's a bit fishy, <laughs> isn't it? And it fell to Navas, Valdez, or oh, Paul, but how did that happen? It's like, yes, let's give them another goal. Hell, I don't even, I don't even understand, obviously, you can tell. What, what just happened? What just happened? Wow. I guess they can, yeah, use the excuse of it's beta, <laughs> but it's it. It would be a shame if we lost the league on like that kind of uh, situation. But again, it's a game. Can't take it too seriously. <sighs> Come on, Herrera, Vitzel, please do something. Oh, I don't know who can be the third. Van Persie, nah. I got to just do two for now. I'll put Vitzel, uh, deep line playmaker, but support. Just push up a bit more. Uh, we have to go for it. Because we yeah, now two goals. Deficit. Memphis, uh, no pressure on you. Vitzel, there's a lot more to come from you. And obviously, yeah, those two are just coming on. But now we've got a free kick. No, we can't take advantage. But it goes back to Rojo. Mata, Di Maria. Oh... We need a goal quick to get anything from this game. Van Persie, Di Maria, finish it. Whoa, what was that? He just had to tap it in, surely. That's not weird at all. So obviously we weren't destined to win this. Oh, again, Van Persie did his best, but he was de uh, denied by the game. Come on. We have to go. Oh, they... Oh, we're back on this again, are we? Oh, we are. What a save, Valdez. What a save. What... what I can't... Oh, I'm trying to attack as much as I can. Uh, we'll bring off Rooney. And just bring on Falcao. Have to do it instead of, yeah, Wilson. Because he's just technically better. Uh, that's all I can really do. Falcao, come on. Make the difference. He looks happy. Come on, he got a good reaction. It has to lead to something. Uh, it's going to be hard here. Go overload. That's as attacking as I can go. Hmm. 
No. Nah, weren't destined to win this game. Ah, uh, There might be one chance, but even if we score, it'll just be a consolation. Yeah, nothing. Falcao, Witzel. Falcao! Oh, good shot. Witzel! Uh, he got it on target. Witzel this time! If anything, that's going to get him... Oh, we might as well go for the jugular, yeah? Might as well just push everyone forward. No harm. Luke Shaw, get up there. Uh, Raphael as well. Where Can Rojo play a midfield kind of... Nah, defensive mid. Can't have all of them in attack. We'll just bring Marta up there. Keep Vitzel there. Change Marta to more advanced playmaker on attack. Maybe just push these guys that high. Would that work? Well, that doesn't even work anymore. You can't put him there. Huh. That's weird. Okay, we're just going to have to roll like this then. Please. You can see the goal there. Uh, Memphis Depay. A very good cross for Witzel. Hopefully that will make him more confident. A goal. There's a highlight at the very least. Come on. Imagine this comeback if we could drag it out. There's about 30 seconds left. Come on, get forward. Go, Luke Shaw. Witzel plays in. Mata, nah. Company, make an error or something. Van Persie. Raphael. Quadrado. Maybe. No, oh, it's there. Are you dumb, game? <laughs> oh, my God. Aggressive. That wasn't good enough. But look at that. you got to look at that. You could say tactically you weren't good enough or whatever rubbish people say, but I had more possession, more shots, and more shots on target. It just... Don't forget they were handed that weird goal as well, gifted. That I'm not sure how that happens. You could, we only saw the highlight, but that's what you get. But yeah, uh, I get so frustrated after these games. Yeah, sorry if I just say things uh, stupid, but like it just it's my initial reactions. And that, yeah, it just comes out in the heat of the moment. So it's a big result here. Hull, they have defeated Liverpool 3-2. That was lucky. If Liverpool won that, uh, they would have gone top. Uh, and you can see Jose Enrique, uh, he got a red card. Balotelli uh, scored twice, obviously. Uh, those were the first... Two goals of the game. Oh, Sacco own goal in the 90th minute. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that, Sacco. Whew. And where do we go now? Uh, full competition. So we can see where we're standing. Go Premier League. I like to see it like this. You can see the stats as well. You can look at that while I'm talking about this. Uh, we're first uh, on equal points with Chelsea, but Chelsea have played an extra game and still that two points ahead of uh, Liverpool. We both lost our games. Uh, Man City and Arsenal, that's still going real close. I'd actually, I'd get, yeah, I'd be in favor of Man City getting fourth instead of Arsenal because they've got Jurgen Klopp. I probably, yeah, he's like a really good manager. And like with the players they have, I think get the job done. Like you saw against us, he's a real good manager. Yeah, one of the hardest managers to beat. Like obviously from Borussia Dortmund, now Man City. He's, he's going to be hard to beat just as a manager. Yeah, definitely a good tactical manager. Wow, look at this. Decrease to transfer revenue retained. It says the board have announced the club due to the club's debt levels. They have decreased the percentage of transfer revenue available to be retained from player sales to 20%. So whew, we're not going to have much money uh, because it, it makes sense though. So there is downsides to being in the red in the budget. It's It, it, it makes sense, but it means we may not have much money. Uh, to play with uh, going into the second season. It will be another reason to qualify for Champions League and get into the Premier League, or yeah, win the Premier League and get into Champions League. Uh, need as much money as we can right now. Hopefully, we won't be forced to sell some players. Uh, we'll see if that, yeah, what happens with that situation um, going forward in the future. Because 20%, that's real low. That is real low. But here, anyway, we do have the game against Aston Villa. 
we need to go out and win it. Uh, Liverpool's been dropping points. I think the last game they played, they picked up a draw. So, yeah, they're 61 points. And we've got our game. Uh, if we win it, we'll go back top. Well, depends how much we win it by. But, yeah, five goals can we win it by against Chelsea? Well, yeah, to get to Chelsea's goal difference. Uh, but we do have an extra game then. So, it's just crucial to win it. And then, yeah, keep winning games, really. And yeah, Man City, um, yeah, they're not doing too well at the minute. Of course, they have aspirations of um, yeah, being in Champions League, trying to win it as well. It uh, doesn't look likely at the minute. So, we have a game against Aston Villa. Aston Villa, they're settled in a the mid-table. They probably can't really go anywhere this season. They're not going to get relegated, not going to qualify for any European competition. So, I'm not sure how hard uh, they'll be trying in this game opposed to us. Um, you can see our morale dropped a bit from the loss against Man City, but it's still in a pretty healthy position. It's still pretty solid, especially Wayne Rooney uh, to talk about. He's actually on superb morale, surprisingly, and no other player is. So that's pretty good. Carrick, yeah, I think it's time to let Carrick go. Um, I didn't press enter but, or something, but anyway, we'll go back to tactics and set up the team. Yeah, we're on the attacking. We have to go out attack this game for sure. Jones, how did he play in the previous game? Does he deserve to be dropped? So he still actually played a good game against City. He got a 7.1 rating. Uh, how about Marcos Rojo? He hasn't been amazing over the course of the season, if I'm being brutally honest. But yeah, he's been on excellent form. See, our players actually got good ratings, at least our defenders. So I think we actually played well against City, judging off that. Um, yeah, I did think, you saw from the stats, we did actually play well, but uh, we just conceded a couple of stupid goals, um, as usual. So... Should I bring Witzel in? I'm going to bring... Oh, Witzel for Herrera. Nah, bring Herrera. 99 condition. Uh, Mata. You don't have many options to bring him in anyway. In centre mid role. I'm just going to leave it. Will Hughes is back. He's, he's just going to be playing under 21 games, though. We'll set him for that. Um, Anyone else? Jimenez as well. He'll probably need Matt Fitton. Oh, he can't. But he needs... I just couldn't do it, but he needs to. <laughs> anyway, so... Ooh, Yanazai. Should we start Yanazai? But cotrado has been good as well. It's really hard to judge. He's gone off the ball. He's gone plus as well um, to 16. He's gone up. Had a poor game against City, though. 6.4 rating. But the game before killed it against Newcastle. So it's a bit weird how he doesn't keep the form here continuing. So we'll change this up a little bit. Ring Yanazai in. Okay, let's go. This needs to be a win. And we'll go real close to winning the title here if we keep <laughs> yeah winning games. And yeah, other top teams keep dropping it, like Liverpool. So, opposition instructions, Benteke. No-brainer. We have to, yeah, tight mark this guy. Show the weaker foot. But, yeah, again, uh, Jack Grealish is a good young player. You can see his attributes there. Not sure if he can make an impact in this game. I guess we are going to find out. Can we go passionate and, yeah, avenge? We must have lost against Aston Villa last time. Oh, that would have been a shock. See, I can't even remember those results. I've really moved on from early season results now. And now we're pushing on to be much better than I thought we would have been this season. But as you know, anything can happen. You can never give up. Herrera. Mata. Di Maria. Herrera. Rooney. Rooney finds Yanazai. Oh! What a decision. Oh, it's offside. <laughs> he scored in the first minutes. I thought it would have been close, but to me it looked like a goal. You see on the replay here... It's tight, but it is probably off. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> but it was a good chance, though, in the first minute. But unfortunately, yeah, um, it's uh, own goal, of course. Not own goal, sorry. It's Of course, it's offside. Van Persie. This time, smashed one at Guzan. Now goes back to Di Maria. Di Maria whips on. Ah, oh, come on. We need that early goal or the pressure we want to score for the whole game. Might go for a team talk. See what happens here. Who's got the injury? Oh, it's Richardson. It's their player. Good. <laughs> it's good. As long as it's not my player, I'm happy. Komata. Well done. Go Rooney. Rooney. Yes, he was always going to get that. I was confident. He's on superb morale. And he's on fire. We couldn't, it couldn't be a better situation, honestly. Rooney, superb morale going toward the end of the season. Got to try and make sure we yeah, hold on to top spot to win the Premier League. Rooney, what a finish. I'm pretty sure that was outside of the foot shot uh, by how he, um, yeah, the technique on that shot. 
And that's what you get for Wayne Rooney. Superstar player. Herrera, Mata. Richardson still got that knock. And Jones, well defended there. Rooney. Tianazai. Oh, good pass for Di Maria. Yes! That makes it two. Oh, not another goal. Offside, surely. you Come on. We've got two. Two. How close was it? Oh, look how close. But I guess technically it was offside. But Di Maria, that strike deserves a goal. <laughs> come on. That deserved off... Oh, come Offsides, man. That strike deserved the goal. That's all I can say, really. It was amazing. But we got to make sure we hold on here. So we're going to go control uh, so we can be more wary of counterattacks. But, yeah, maintain possession as well. Uh, Rafael is hurt. That's not good. Uh, Benteke has got a knock for them as well. Grealish plays in Benteke. Oh, good defending that was. That was four. That was Jones. Well done. Okay, we lead at the break. 1-0. It's a perfect opportunity to go. Don't get complacent. We've got to guard against complacency now. Don't think the job is done. And players gaining focus. Exactly what we needed. No stupid confused and unmotivated reactions. That's what we need to see. And put us in a good position at will. Rooney. Van Persie. We have a corner here. Van Persie this time. Herrera. Was well defended there though. Hutton, he's looked to be away. The two attackers have injuries. <laughs> Not sure if they'll score. Richardson finds Benteke. They combine. Luke Shaw goes back to Valdez. <laughs> that was interesting. Di Maria. Rooney. Rooney finds Di Maria. Di Maria this time. This time he won't be denied. This time, Angel Di Maria, he's not going to be denied. Definitely wasn't offside that time. But look at the balls. I love just playing those uh, cross-field balls. Look at that. Di Maria, great finish. Hopefully, we can go on with the job as well. Like, keep possession, uh, quality performance. And, you, get, you know, yeah, games where you win by a lot, your morale goes high, like you saw from the Newcastle game. Oh, Mata! He was just darting through the midfield there. Definitely like his role suggests, roaming. He just, yeah, roaming through there. Di Maria. There was another offside call there as well. Mata. Di Maria. I mean, it'll be interesting to see if they sub one of their injured players and Rooney had a chance there. Wins a corner. But I feel it is time to make a couple subs. Uh, Rooney. He's had a good game. Ooh. How far away is the next game? That's something crucial to figure out. Oh, it's about ooh, six days away. And it's a away match against West Ham. Ooh, I don't know whether to drop Rooney. Because he's had a real good game. I'll just take off Van Persie because he hasn't even played well. And we'll bring on James Wilson. He's got the superb morale. Quadrado as well for Yanazai. Uh, not the best game of his career. But I'll just do those two subs for now in case yeah, something disastrous happens. And yeah, James Wilson again, just go assertive, pressure off, nice and easy reaction. Uh, show me what you got today for Juan Quadrado. There we go. And finally, yeah, Benteke off, so he's injured. That makes me less worried and more confident that we should win and they won't score. Who they have up front anyway? Yeah, Walters and Vyman, so yeah, I'll be pretty confident. Rooney, Mata. Finds Di Maria, finds Wilson, and he comes on and score. He's a... Oh, again! <laughs> Another offside. We've had three in this game. And they were all goals. Wow. So this match could have easily been different. Look! Oh, that's tough. That is tough to call. Carl, what do you think about that? Do you think that should be credited a goal, or is that offside? Look pretty close. It looked close enough to me. Come on. What happened to advantage goes to the attacking team? What happened to that rule? Come on. Quadrado, this time. Ah, uh, you had to cross that in. You got a corner, but yeah, you're being a bit selfish. <laughs> I don't mind, though, because it looks like we're going to win, so that's all that really matters, doesn't it? Roro. Oh, here we go. Quadrado scores this time, but again, it's Di Maria. 
with the assist. He is the architect architect of the team. He is simply too good. Oh, it's just so... It's beautiful watching it back from Di Maria. The balls he plays are, are just sublime. Fantastic stuff. Mata, Di Maria. This time he's the scorer. And he got it from a difficult angle as well. Convincing performance. This kind of performance deserves us we really deserve to be title winners we've done this multiple times we did it to man city early in the season we did it to newcastle not too long ago we play so well and i knew it would as soon because people were saying early like the first half of the season my tactic is crap and they didn't believe that it was the um yeah kind of the problems in the dressing room but it was now everyone's happy and now I'm playing well. Do you think that's a coincidence? It's not. It's The tactic is quality, and everyone is happy, so we're playing well. That's the way it goes, pretty much. Um, sometimes I think uh, things go against me because I... Uh, well, people uh, disagree with me because I actually know Football Manager too well. I actually know it too well. And people who maybe don't know it as much as me, they're like, yeah, in general, they say, nah, it's, it's just your tactics. The... Backroom stuff, that, or not backroom, yeah, the off-field stuff don't really matter as much, but I know it does. It's just because I know so much about Football Manager, and uh, this is just basically proof of it that I was right. So um, you can see that with a convincing performance. And obviously, uh, we're not first, but we do have that extra game to play uh, to Chelsea. Like, uh, So we're in a real good position. We've scored the most goals in the league. I reckon that's the best stat to have. Most goals scored in the league, and defensively, we've been pretty sound as well. So, yeah, the, that's, the, that's the only disappointment, the finances. Hopefully next season when we get the finances in and everything goes back to normal, uh, I'll be able to hopefully talk to the board about that and, yeah, transfer revenue can be increased once again because, yeah, it'll be a bit annoying if we have a low transfer budget. So we'll see where, yeah, you can see where we are right now. How many games left in the season? Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games left in the season. Some difficult ones. You've got Arsenal. Well, honestly, Arsenal's the only difficult one, really. Everton haven't been that great this season. Uh, so, yeah, I think we've done well. Uh, we're playing well. Uh, I really think we're odds on to win the title. But, obviously, Chelsea, like, if we win that extra game, we'll still be only one win ahead. <laughs> one win ahead. So, it's still going to be real close. It could go down to the final day. Who knows? Uh, it will be a good way, yeah, for this first, really season i've finished so we'll see how it goes down anyway hopefully enjoy the video and i'll see you guys next time